Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. <laughs> Welcome back. It's 17 till the hour. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I'm Jim Blassingame. I am the Small Business Advocate. Please check out my website, smallbusinessadvocate.com. Janice Kephart is our guest, folks. Janice is a fellow at the, at the Center for Immigration Studies. She's uh, recently came off an assignment as special counsel at the Senate Immigration Reform Bill. She's, she's extremely knowledgeable about uh, about the immigration issues, about national security issues, especially the combination of those two. Janice, thanks mm-hmm. again for coming back on the show. Thanks for hanging out sure. with us. Um, today is the 12th anniversary of the right. of the murderous attacks of September 11th, 2001. We lost 3,000 people. You and I, all of us, maybe even you could say the world, but especially Americans, we're still paying the price on many levels for that attack. Uh, uh, Osama bin Laden had no idea when he planned this attack, he had no idea how residually effective this, this that attack was going to be, did he? No, I, I, I'm not sure. I think he was somewhat removed from it, honestly. I mean, I think he gave his blessing on it. Um, you know, I was part of a, a very successful case with the 9-11 families. I was an expert witness, um, and whereby Iran was uh, con- was deemed a material witness, uh, material um, support for 9-11. And the attorneys in that case uh, aggregated uh, a tremendous amount of evidence against Iran, and I think the reason I, I bring that up is because it's it's one thing to talk about bin Laden, but Iran's involvement, we are not sure to this day whether 9-11 could have happened without Iran's right. support. We, Their well, material support in numerous mm-hmm. ways. The, we know that. the hijackers were there training right. before 9-11. Um, we know that they had a simulation jet for a Boeing that the – and we're so sure you that say, the hijackers were there. So you're saying if we had, more, if we had better information – Perhaps we should have we should have attacked uh, Iran instead of uh, instead of Afghanistan. Uh, right, right. Yeah. Uh, well, and, well and, and, and when I said what I did a Iraq, minute ago about instead of Iraq, yeah. Right. Well, of course, Iraq wasn't Iraq wasn't part of the wasn't part of the reaction to nine one one. Afghanistan was, but but the the thing that that I that I when I said Osama bin Laden, I meant I'm using him as a as a as a a, 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 a catch all for. For all the people who planned this, they had they could have had no idea how, how effective this was going to be. There are so many levels of that this has affected our lives, besides the fact that we lost so many lives, and and it's it's basically every time you and I catch a plane, every time you go in a building in Washington oh, D.C. or New York, you're feeling the effects of nine one one, the NSA scandal that we've got going the on NSA right now. scandal That's, and that Benghazi got... too. I yeah. think Benghazi is is related as well and you know for me Benghazi is an abdication of to the world of our commitment to the war on terror. How is I it... think it's emboldened I think it's emboldened dictators like like Assad who knows he can get away with it because we are not going to react in a swift firm fashion How like can the Obama administration 9/11 call with with any kind without any sense of shame and folks they've done this and i'm not i'm not trying to i'm not picking on them i'm just calling it like it is they've actually called benghazi a manufactured scandal how oh my gosh with, with, we without lost. any sense of shame janice how can you do that after nine one one, after the emotions that we've had well, since then how can you do that remember after when the, this current president took power he removed the word terror right. from the from the books, and he ignored 9/11. He purposely started pulling back on 9/11 Commission recommendations and findings of fact. I never thought I'd see a president do that and and thumb his nose at you know uh, recent tragedy in history that informed so much of what we needed to do as a country. Mm-hmm. Um, closed his eyes to the wake up call we had had. Um, and it was really despicable. And now you have 
Snowden just in a few hours ago, there was more information leaked out on the Snowden event. Um, apparently, NSA was also uh, snooping on major corporations, energy corporations, airlines, banking, um, and they were they were doing so uh, under in they the were having of, in the name conferences of national and briefings security. to figure out how to do it better. Yeah. Um, why are they the target? Why are we not staying focused on the people who truly want to take us down? Why and, are and by the way, we, it should be it, it must be pointed out that the NSA wasn't invented by by Obama. It's, it was around. No, it, was it was around not. before this, and they were doing things like like we're talking about before Obama. But but and I will take. I want to say this: uh, Snowden is a traitor because he took what he knew to a foreign government and and released it. Uh, oh, absolutely, the way he did. He is. But but I am not unhappy that that we know we now know how our government has been snooping on its own citizens. Right. And I, I think, to me, that shows that that continues and was broadened. You know, any administration who did that is is to blame for, for that. I understand that if you're talking about terror financing and other things, you need to have targeted ways of doing that kind of surveillance. You absolutely have to be able to. But the broad stroke mm-hmm. use of that, to, to use that when we need resources committed to protecting America, not snooping on Americans, right. is, is just the wrong allocation of resources and the, and when the re- our resources are too limited as it is. And the reaction, it's been a year now, folks. Uh, it's been a year since Benghazi. Not one person uh. has been charged. Not one person has been arrested. Not one person has been, as far as we know, not they know who the some of the bad guys are. And as far as we know, no, nobody from our government has talked to any of them, even though we know yeah, where they, they are. they finally put the pictures up of the three potential perpetrators. It took them Folks, until May of this, this is year a, to do it. This is a national scandal. It's not a manufactured scandal. And on 911, we remember those, all those who died a year ago and 12 years ago. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.